Hello viewers from Asia from Hawkrax. We have been using cloud drives for almost a decade now, but the way we access and share our data through web browsers still remains the same. Today let's see how to manage our data efficiently. Also have you ever wondered how to mount a cloud storage as a network drive as I have it right now. And I'll show you how to do it today. First I'll introduce to an open source software hard drive you need to download and install in your PC. I have provided download link in the description box. You can follow the link and download RAI drive into your Windows machine. Suppose if you have Mac operating system, then you can use Cyberduck. I'll provide that link in the description box as well. And the configurations will be similar to what we do here. Once you download the file, click install and follow the installation wizard. And uh, there might be few prompts for driver installation. Please make sure to accept and proceed. In this video, we are using lifetime free version of RAI drive. So with this, we can integrate almost eight drives out of which four can be an active drive. Check out the plans for more information. Now click add and select any cloud storage that you want to mount on this PC. So we have multiple options, personal, business, enterprise and NAS. So there are a lot of different categories and uh, different cloud storages that are available. So you can choose uh, anything as of your choice. And uh, as I showed earlier, I have configured Google Drive and Mega. And for now, I'll show you how to map your Google Drive. Once you pick Google Drive, you'll be redirected to Google sign in page. And this will be a one time sign on. So whenever you restart your machine, the drives will be automatically mounted every time. And uh, before you click on continue, make sure to grant, edit, create and delete permissions. Well, now you can see the Google Drive is mounted and appears under network locations. And as of now, I don't have any data in my drive. So let me copy paste any random file into this drive and let's check if the file is synced in the web client. You can see file is now synced in the web and uh, let's try to add few more high quality images and check how fast the drive can sync and also we will perform few delete operations uh, to check how it's getting reflected in the web client. Once I deleted the file from PC, the file automatically gets removed from Google Drive. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.